This past week I've done a little shipping experiment where I used fully encrusted corals and then I used freshly cut corals, I used carbon, not carbon, and then I put them in a smaller specific container and then I used bigger plastic bags. So we're just changing up things to see in which specific situation coral will do better while being shipped. So in this video we're just going to go over the results and we're going to talk a little bit about it. First of all, temperature wasn't a factor in this experiment at all, since I had all the frags in a styrofoam box and I had that box here in my house. And I do keep my house a little bit of the warmer side, so every single time I'll check the temperature on the frags, that'll always be around 76, 77 degrees. The coral that I used for this test was worldwide coral, slime ball, and acropora. And the reason because I used that coral is just because I had a lot of it and I had a few frags that are already fully encrusted on the plugs, so that's why I decided to use that coral. And one other thing, I filled specimen containers all the way up. When I was packing the frags and the bags, I would release all the air and then tighten it that way, just so I have water and the coral in the bag. I have started this test on November 24th, and this test ended on November 30th. And actually some of those frags that made it until November 30th, I put back into my tank, and they're still doing great two days after. And I don't think I'll have any issues with those corals. So basically what I did, I used corals, they're fully encrusted on the plug, and then I had freshly cut corals with super glued gel from Dollar Tree that I used, that I covered that exposed flesh completely with it, and then I put it on the frag plug. And then afterwards I used some freshly cut corals that I covered with aqua stick epoxy from two little fishes and then I'll attach it to the frag plug with that epoxy. And then all of those corals I put in specimen containers which you can fit actually 120 milliliters and then I use the plastic poly bags they are 4 times 12 poly bags and those bags I added exactly double amount of specimen containers which is 240 mils and then afterwards I used the same bags with the same amount of water in which I added the carbon with bulk resupply the ROX type. Alright so let's go over the results as I said I started this test on November 24th and then I went over and I marked the dates when I've seen that the either flesh is falling of the coral or the completely coral was bleached or when I've seen that the water is murky in the bags or containers. So basically November 24th is when I packed. The second day, November 25th, I already had one that perished, which is the coral that was freshly cut with Aquastec epoxy. And then the day after, I had all of the ones that I used Aquastec epoxy from two little fishes, they all died. So basically they made it two days maximum when Aquastec epoxy was used. And you guys can tell right off the bat, more water volume made a big difference. And as we go and see other results, you guys are gonna see that that repeats constantly here and then the day after on November 27 I had coral that perished and that was a freshly cut coral in a specimen container and then on November 28 I had one coral die as well here which was again in a specimen container smaller container and that was the coral that was fully encrusted on a frag plug then afterwards on November 29th I had a coral that perished that was in a plastic poly bag which was freshly cut coral which made it two day extra just because it was in a bigger plastic poly bag compared to the specimen container one which perished on November 27th and then afterwards on November 30th we have quite a few corals that made it as I said I have them all in my tank and they're all doing great and one of those corals are freshly cut corals that I covered with super glue and right now I'm certain that I can use that super glue and send someone a frag that's freshly cut it's gonna survive without any problem and so as you guys can tell the frags that made it are the frags that are fully encrusted that I put on the plastic poly bags which the more water volume help in this case and then I have a freshly cut coral that had a little bit of carbon in it on their larger plastic poly bags and that one made it one more extra day comparing to the one that didn't have any carbon and then we had freshly cut corals that I used super glue that both made it that were actually in bigger poly bags which I was very surprised that that super glue did that well so just me looking at the results right off the bat I can tell you guys that I'll never use the Aquastec epoxy. Of course, this is the only epoxy that I use. I don't know how the other epoxies are. I'm sure if I let that epoxy cure a little longer in my tank, that those corals will do way better. Since for super glue gel and for that epoxy that I used, I basically grab the epoxy and I attach it to the frag glove right away and then I dropped it in a bag and basically that lasts maybe 15 to 20 seconds. So probably if I let that cure my tank, it'll do way better and all the toxicity that killed the corals went out into my tank and the bigger water volume would probably be fine 
but from now on, just me seeing that that epoxy has some type of toxicity on corals, I probably will never use it again. I'm just gonna stick with the super glue, which did so well in this test, even though I've done the same thing with the super glue, I just glued the coral in the frag plug and I dropped it in the bag right away, which again lasted 15 to 20 seconds. That's how long I needed to just attach the coral in the frag plug and just drop it in the bag and pack it. And obviously the corals admitted the furthest into the test were the corals that were more water volume, they were either full encrusted on the frag plug or they were freshly cut corals, but that whole exposed tissue was covered with the gel super glue. Those work very well as well. And I have here one case when the carbon helped a lot, which made one coral survive one extra day just because it had a little carbon in it. I'm not sure if you guys ever ship corals, but shipping corals is very expensive these days. So that's why since I'm just starting to sell corals and ship corals, I wanted to do a quick little test to see which corals will do the best. Of course, temperature will play a major factor in this but i just wanted to see what will happen and temperature is just not a factor which was a very easy test for me to do so that's what i've done it and of course if you're picking up any frags from a local hobbyist or lfs you can bring them home right away none of these are going to be an issue as long as you keep in a temperature control environment and i know plenty of coral sellers online won't even ship corals thursday for friday delivery so basically that's what i want to check in this test if a coral will survive being shipped thursday and not being delivered on friday then it's going to be delivered on monday and i just wanted in that case to check if some of the calls will survive and yeah if you guys have any questions any comments feel free to drop them down below thanks for sticking around if you guys missed my last video where i tested my vortex battery backup on my mp10 and mp40 go and check that video out with all that out of the way see you guys in the next video peace